Hello, 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 Raising Zozo here from The Civ Show, and this is a Raising Review. This is sort of a continuation slash redo. Um... city so I can just have a little opening gander here and chat uh, so you know as you know with the Maya um, they don't need fresh water and that's you know you're, you're you get so used to always building beside a river or a lake uh, that uh, or water uh, that it is weird you know in, in going against that intuition and not having to worry about it so you can always build in the gray spaces in fact that's the best place to build for the maya you want to build in uh, an area with no water but that is close enough to a river or a mountain to get your aqueduct so that you can get a full i think it's a six plus six housing something like that um so the maya are when it comes to water uh, and housing you just want to build farms so you want to have lots and lots and lots of farms uh, every farm you build gives you a plus one housing. So a farm normally gives you 0.5 housing. So that means every farm the Maya build get 1.5 housing. So essentially every you know two farms is three housing. 
uh, which is it adds up, but you got to have that infrastructure or many Maya cities wouldn't be able to, you know, they're going to be really small. So I'm going to need lots of builders to do this. Um, and then the plus one amenity for every luxury resource that they're adjacent to. So if they, if they start a city beside a luxury resource, they get a plus one amenity. The hardest part about the Maya is the, is the, uh, Ixmoa, a, 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 uh, non-capital cities within six tiles of the capital gain a plus 10 to yields, um, other non-capital cities receive minus 15 to yields and uh, that's a big deal um and then obviously i got to get my observatories built quickly uh and um they love luxury resources as well so plantations in particular uh and farms so let's see what we can do here so looking at this starting area uh, I see two luxury resources there and a luxury resource there. Um, I'm going to just move one up. Oh, and there's some goodie huts, so I'll go there. So here we go. I'm going to start the timer. So my number one goal right now is I need to locate a... I need to locate a natural wonder. And quickly, because I want to figure out, uh, you know, where my ley lines are uh, as early as I can. So I'm going to start searching, uh, which means I'll prob probably end up building a few more scouts than normal. Now, I should remind you, oh, that's cool. I think before I remind you about how... I suck, so you don't have to. Um, I think getting a relic is one of my favorite things for the first goodie hut <laughs> that you find. Um, yeah, I, I like getting a relic. So that's like right away for faith. So now I'm probably going to be able to get religious settlement, which I find the computer generally uh, takes first. Um, so that's cool. Love that. Love a good relic. Okay, so here we go. Searching for a natural wonder. Behold oh, the wonder. All right. Uh, we got earth. lucky. We found a natural Clear wonder. Aqua blue serves as a looking glass. Okay, Thousands so that's uh, ha Halong colors. Bay. Tinge. Okay, we are gonna we're going to a point. Let's see how this. So last time I did this. There was one ley line in my entire empire. Um, ugh. Okay. Well, I see one in my immediate vicinity. So there could still be some up here. Now, the one thing I'll say, if this is the only one, it will suck in that it's right beside my capital. Okay. Uh, and I think that's where... I started, wasn't it? So, no, I think I started over here. I moved up one. Um, so, that sucks because I'm not going to have a bunch of other cities that are able to build around it. However, it is beside two things that, that right there, that were luxuries, uh, which I believe require plantations, and that... So that could end up being a super adjacency bonus. However, it's also in jungle. So I can't even cut it down until I get bronze working. Uh, so I'm going to course correct and I won't go for no pottery. or um, I'm not going to go for my observatory right away. I'm going to need to beeline and try to get... Um, try to get my bronze working so I can cut that down let's see did I get oh religious settlement okay uh, I so as a Maya I don't go religion at all and like I might have taken divine spark or something unless of course religious settlement is available uh, it is so I'll take it Maya want to build uh, cities as quickly as possible 
Um, so let's see. So that river, that lake here is going to is going to make some building a little bit difficult, but it is right within three. Um, so one, two, one, two, three. So I can go, I can go here. One, two, three. I can go here. Uh, one, two, three. I can go here. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. I can go here. Okay. One, two, three. So presumably I can go here, depending on what's there. And one, two, three. I can go here, approximately, depending on what's there. Okay. Uh, so looking at the options I have right now, and I could, you know, I could shift them all over one uh, if I wanted to. So I could go there. Um, and it's really hard. Like I got religious settlement, so obviously I want to I want to do this right now. Uh, but it's annoying not knowing what those are. Uh, I might, you know what? I might be a little silly here and be patient because I have a scout coming next turn, just so I can see a little bit more of the map. Um, oh, there's a ley line. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's pretty much my line. So that is within three. So if I built a settlement in uh, in the outer area, um, I will be able to achieve that. Yeah, when I'm the Maya, I build a lot of scouts um, early because I just I need to establish exactly where I'm building my cities um, as fast as possible. Now I got the advantage that I got a free settler, so let me a little patient here. Oh, look at that. They are right in my butt. Okay, so I'm likely going to go early war with the Yankees um, because they're right beside me. Um, like they're going to be, they're going to start settling right in my area. Okay, so one, two, three. Um, looking down here, that is not a luxury. Um, so I'm just trying to discern if I want to move them all up one, uh, or just keep them like this. Um, let's see, one, two, 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 two. no bonus. There is a luxury resource there, so that's good for that city. No luxury resource there, we don't know about there. Okay, I gotta go one more turn before I commit my settler to... Before I commit my settler to anything. When you find yourself in a hole, quit dig. Oh my goodness, these guys are. I really want to take that settler. Let's see if, if they'll let me. Okay, no luxury there. And. Oh, a ley line. Okay. Okay, so that will change things. I'm going to want to take advantage of that ley line. Um, so I'll probably build, let's see, uh, one, two, three. So I'll probably build a city right there. So I am glad that I wait, pardon me, that I waited. Um, because if I had gone with my original plan, it would have thrown everything off. Uh, so one, two, three. So that goes away. go here and then uh, one two three and I actually kind of like this better because I think I'll be able to two, two, three build right beside a wonder natural wonder which is always good for error score three um, I'll just move this one up one two three so one two
Yeah, okay, right there. Right beside a luxury resource. Okay, one, two, three. I can still do that. And one, two, three. Technically, somewhere in that area. Okay, so let's go get right there. And I just want to remind everybody that uh, I hope you're tuning in for the banter and the wonder uh, and not for the skill. Um, I am proficient at civilization, um, but I am by no means um, good at civilization. Uh, you know, the motto on the Civ show is we suck so you don't have to. Um, and I know people, some don't kind of understand that. Um, I know, especially like if, if you're a competitive Civ player, like you'll watch Civ So stuff and be like, man, what are you doing? And we're not trying to be good. Um, you know, if you want to get good at Civ, like where you're just amazing at Civ, there are some great, there's great content out there um, in the Civ community, uh, in the CPL. Um, if you just want to tune in and have a little fun and chat, well, that's the Civ show for you. Um, so take out all my advice with a grain of salt. There's probably a better way to do things more often than not. Um, <clears throat> hey there, barbarian. I do actually kind of want to kill a few barbarians so that I can uh, maybe get to this little faster I, I got lots of people right beside me so one of the things the Maya actually do really well unlike say Korea which is another science sieve is the Maya can do early war pretty excellently due to their um, oh there's another ley line but it's I think way too outside of my region uh, they can do warfare pretty good due to their uh, slender bone. Uh, due to their excellent archers. Um, so I'm just looking to see. I don't see any barbarian huts. And I just realized I got all these guys searching over here, and nobody's searching down here. So I'm gonna turn that guy around. Okay. Um, I guess yeah, that's, there's some nice ley lines over there, but I'm at least content that there are two ley lines at least within my empire. So that is a technically a 100% boost from the last game where I had no ley lines. I had one ley line in my territory. And, like, these ley lines actually look like they're pretty nicely positioned. I'm not going to kill that guy, but I'm just off from killing him. Um, so I'm not going to try. Let's go beside him. Okay, there's one Barbarian dead. I don't know if I'll be able to kill two within six turns. We'll find out. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so let's... Uh, I don't have farming yet. I don't have agriculture, so I can't actually harness those. But I am going to start getting my farms going. Um, you need lots of workers for the Maya. Um, and I also want to get early empires as quickly as possible. I, I have found the Maya are a little harder to use now that... Um, they changed. Oh, good, you denounced me. Well, that's fine. I have plans to go to war with you, like, really soon, America. Um, do I think... I don't know if I can... 
know what? I, I do. I think I can. So I'm going to start getting my archery going. Oh, America. You flagrant DB. Um... Wanting to cut that down. But I do need to get my settlements going and a rocking. Um, because I'm already, like, I'm being forward set it forward settled all around. Oh, hello, China. Pleasure. You know what? Let's see if I can actually. Yeah, you can. You can just get right out of there. I am so, and it's annoying that. No, look at that. Already, he's annoyed with me. Right away, he's already annoyed with me. Mmm. No. Well, well. Can't see if the hermetic order work if. Uh, Dead. Yeah, I almost want to get some. Um, yeah, I'm going to do another slinger before I do a settler, unfortunately. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit. A little bit surrounded. So I was saying, um, the the Maya have gotten a little harder. You know, everybody's gotten harder. It's not just the Maya with the the new patch update um, because you only get one governor now when you meet a. Uh, oh, they're running away. Chase them down. Um, when you meet a secret society. So before you got every secret society you got you would um you would get a governor and now you only get the one governor so um which you know kind of sucks but hold on let's go down there and get uh, it sucks but it's also like you know that was really strong like that was ridiculously strong how it used to work uh getting four extra governors basically so you know you would have no dogs in magnus magnus like in no time there we go. So there's my bronze working so now i can uh, let's get my writing and this guy actually i should pull him back because i know i'm going to war soon with america Okay. Yeah, look at this, how many societies I met. We just recently did the Civ Give, and I was the Gull, and I spent way too long trying to track down a secret society. Um, and uh, I could have gone the Owls of Minerva, and I just waited because I wanted vampires with the Gull, because I was going to play uh, that style of game. And it was a waste. And I killed like 10 barbarian camps. 10 barbarian camps. And I still did not get one. Um, it was it was terrible. Um, what am I going to do here? I actually should probably get some gold. Because uh, I am playing to... I'm building all these guys, all these slingers to upgrade into uh, archers to kill the Americans. Even though I really need more cities and soon. But, um, you know, I'm collecting this faith. So if I can get my golden age, I'll take monumentality and um, I'll see if I can buy. Uh, again, especially with a sieve like the Maya, I oh, love getting a relic turn one or turn two or whatever. I think it was like early. That was my first goodie hut. I got a relic. Um, you know the Maya. I would, I would, I would like never go religion. I wouldn't even bother. It would just be, in my opinion, a waste of time um, getting religion. So uh, this is a nice treat. Let's get, get these builders going. 
Let's prepare to chop that down. Chopa chopa. Okay, and I see now more of this. One, two, three, four, five, water. And Mexico City. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll have to, if I want to get another city, I have to kill Mexico City. Um, what do they give me? Regional effects from your industrial zones and entertainment complexes reach three tiles farther. I don't think I care as much about that because I'm going to have a pretty tight civilization. So maybe I can afford to raise that city. Um, yeah, so that's okay. Um, I'm going to have you just start scouting. Lots of faith, so uh, if I can get my golden arrow, which <clears throat> I'm very confident I will get. Um, in eight turns, yeah, I should be fine. I should be fine. I already got their city walls up and running. Uh, let's build roads up here, because that is the path we're going. We're actually going to go to Boston first. So, let's get that going. Let's see here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. So maybe here. Maybe here. This would be one of my uh, outskirt cities. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because there's a ley line there. And there's a. That's a luxury resource. Mm. I wish the ley line was like over here, <laughs> so I could. I think that'd be a pasture there for sheep. Uh, I could be wrong. Oh, we know is sheep a pasture? Maybe not. Or no, it's not a pasture. It's a plantation, right? It's a plantation. Got to give them up some. Um, worker. And let's see what's up here. Okay. Okay. So, oh, another natural wonder. So there are more ley lines than the last game I played. Now, they're all too far away, but I'm happy that I have at least two within my my area. Um, they're not amazingly located, right? Um, so I'm not gonna be able to get more than like one building for this one I can get, you know, I'll get one there and I'll get one there. Um, and then this one, you know, I might be able to get a couple buildings over here, so. And really, you know, my observatory and um, and you know my industrial complexes are the only ones that I'm going to or and, well and my I guess my commercial hubs. So I'm not I'm not planning on building a single um, religion. So okay, you're coming back. Uh, I really hope the Americans declare war on me. So I can get a get a free um, Eureka or whatever for defensive war, and I always I find the computer when I'm the Maya, they just the exact wrong time to declare war. Like they declare war just as I get my my super archers, and it's like okay, rules. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna spend the gold on that. And just for a second, I will get a settler going. Just to. It was luxuries like air conditioning. Oh, sweet. Well, that worked out really well. Well, not really well. I would have rather had that I bought that tile at a discount, uh, to be honest, but that's fine. Um. Okay, well, let's get you starting to go and switch you to my observatory. Let's see what I get. Only plus two? Okay, well, that's that's okay because I haven't actually done that or that yet. Um, so that's okay. So we'll go we'll keep, keep that plus two and then it'll go up, should go up, I think, for each of these, it'll go up to plus six. 
in theory. But communism works in theory. Uh, you can just start scouting. Why you heal up? It's too bad that one. I think is just way too far. Like you don't, as a Maya, you don't have to. Um, you know, color within the lines. If you really want, you can have cities outside of your outside of your zone. Yeah, the, the Americans are totally coming at me. Uh, and I'm, I, I welcome them. Uh, I am about to get my um, I am about to get my uh, my cool archers. So my Hulche my Hulche archers They can, they can come at me. Fortify. Come at me, bro. Oops, that's not where I want to go. Now, I'm looking over here, and I'm like, I could make a pretty sweet city right there. With that luxury and that luxury. And I'd be right beside this uh, natural wonder, but unfortunately, and that would mean that I'd, I'd lose a whole city. Oh, they declared war on me. Okay, well, I need um, two turns from, oh, one turn now, because of my science is rocking. So good. Um, Finish the worker. I'm gonna need you just stand your ground. Um, I didn't get my road all the way there. That's okay. Um, okay. I have a feeling that Mapuche are probably gonna declare war on me when my golden age starts, which you know would make sense. I will fall back though, and let's pull you back. So yeah, this is gonna put a damper on um, on my settling. Oh, they just the levied those guys. Become confused. On my expansion, which sucks. Uh, how much longer till two turns? Can I wait two turns? I think I can. So I'm gonna wait two turns before I build my first archer because I'm already at the golden age threshold. And, um, and I want to get those extra points towards the next golden age. So I'm just going to fall back and play kind of a defensive game here. Um, and uh, let's get that going because in two turns I will be good to go. Okay, um, where am I gonna build this? Let's see, two, 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 two. They're all plus two. Uh, that's going to be a camp, I think. So I'm gonna wait a moment and um, just. Ooh, another ley line, but that's by Fez, and Fez is too far away. Um, so, Burns. I guess that I could go down there as well. I don't know if that would make a difference, though. Okay, so, this builder... Actually, I want farms. Let's, let's do that. Alright, one turn... Volcano erupts. The man who has grit enough skill without imagining. Okay. Uh, let's get into war mode. Dedication. Monumentality. Okay. So let's see where this is at now. Plus four. So it will be a plus six. Okay. So 
here we go. Upgrade. Get some air points. Upgrade. And upgrade. And machinery is on its way. Okay. And I'm just gonna fall back. Let you come to me. You come to me, buddy. You come to me. The Yankee Doodles. Okay. Um, let's get some masonry going. Get some walls up. And we're almost at political philosophy. Oh, that sucks. The volcano removed that uh, bonus yield. Oh, well. side of my area so I think I am going to build there I'll be a little silly be a little silly that's a luxury that's a luxury so one two three so one two three so then we'll go here Actually, might work out better, anyways. And then one, two, three. Uh, one, two, two, two. Let's that volcano. Um, one, two, three. So we have like over here. One, two, three. I don't want to go right beside the volcano. Okay, that looks like a decent... I'm about to get state worker, so once I have that, I will start doing some settlers. Uh, but until then... Ooh, who's the first great... Sign? I always forget to do this. Okay, I missed it. I always find... The one that gives you the library, I like... I try to rush to him. Not really something you can do, I guess, when you're at war, though. So, it's fine. Um, you're gonna go down there for chopping. You're going to go up here, and I'm going to hope that that guy doesn't get killed. And let's go. So yeah, about to get state workforce so I can get the second level of Magus. Vampires. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I hate vampires. Oh, let's see what we ah, look at this. This is converting. That is terrible that the Mapuche are exerted. Like, that is really close to my capital. Well, good thing I am building this monument. Hopefully, it'll make the difference. Okay. Let's get political philosophy. Oh, that's annoying that they're vampires. Let's go for the kills right now. So these guys, these archers, they get plus five combat strength when fighting a wounded opponent, and then I get an additional plus five within my six tiles of my character. Look at this, they're coming right at me. So these guys are pretty murderous uh, when you're coming at me. Let's, do I have any iron in my empire? I don't think I do. And that's going to be problematic. There's iron down here. So I might build a settlement outside of my zone just to get some iron. 
Um, let's see what we can do though. So you just do that. You heal up. Okay. Okay. And now that I got Magus up to that, I can get me some more settlers going. Sure, I don't want conflict with you right now. I gotta worry about these vampires. Like, look at that, he's murdering my capital. The game might be over before it started. I was like really confident that I did not have to worry about the Americans. But let's see what we can do. Fight them off. That's not good. That is not good. Oh, that's a plus three because it's over there. Uh, yeah, but I gotta. I'm gonna keep it over here. Uh, I really gotta kill these vampires. charge left okay good oh well, yeah maybe I can distract him maybe the vampire will go after although you know what that, the vampire won't this guy will that's fine as long as I'm not cap attacking my capital I just need to buy myself oh there's a good head there uh, buy myself a couple turns to get my defenses up and Zozo should be okay. I don't like that the, this forest fire is here. Um, yeah, that is a very unhelpful forest fire. Okay, I need to get into firing range there with as many guys as possible. So... should be able to turn that around by then. I, I honestly can't remember if entering a forest fire square hurts you. Um, I kind of think it does. Yeah, I'm not going to level up if I get rid of a vampire. And, no, let's find out. I can't remember. So let's find out. Move you up. I feel like he won't have enough to hurt me there. Boost for sailing. Maya and water. We just don't care about water. Okay. Yeah, it hurt me, didn't it? Yeah, that's common sense. <laughs> but look, he put it out. He went in there and he put it out. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick with that. It was him. He put it out. Alright, I do feel more confident now, though. Yeah, I got, I got everybody out of the area. overload here which is what I find like just totally turns this game around for the Maya if they are in this situation just tons of archers seven a turn for that oh you're gonna give damn I gotta pay attention that was a great deal <laughs> maybe we'll take it again mm. 
Everything has its limits. Good. Okay, make a deal. You want that, and I want for back. No. Yes, floor troll. What is it? I uh, I need to show you something. Yeah, he's not gonna do it again. Oh, two turns. Oh, I gotta pay attention. You gotta pay attention. What is it, kid? I have to show you. Something. No, I'm I'm I am in the middle of a recording. These a regular raising Zozo review will be the occasional uh, beautiful floor troll coming to show me something. What is it you want to show me? <laughs> Unfortunately, because um, the nature of raising review is they're unedited, uncut. Uh, it's just get them, get them out, get them quickly out there. Uh, so, you know, it, everything, everything goes with a raising review. Whatever happens during the episode, ultimately you get to see. Uh, that includes the occasional floor troll interruption. Um, okay, so yeah, let's get some trade routes going because I am planning on a full out war. Um, and I think after that settler, I might be able to, I might be able to, I really need iron. Is that like literally the only iron is down there? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is, this is, this is rough. This is rough. Um, you know, this is like one of the other times, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I could build one there, let me just confirm that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I build one there, one, two, three, no. So I might, yeah, I'm going to have to build, I'll probably maybe up here. I am going to have to build outside my, uh, my zone and it's just to harness some resources. So either down here or up there. Um, down here, I'd have to go around all this unless I go the route of sailing. Um, which, you know, I don't see a lot of point to that. And then I'm gonna have to raise these cities, unfortunately, of the Americans. I think they're not where I want them built. So yeah, Los Angeles is burning to the ground. Actually, I'm comfortable that I don't need city walls, and I can just start building some melee units for conquest. I'll keep you there, because I've only got this one guy right now. Barbarian town. Yeah, I have a feeling. Yeah, they're at 15. So they... They brought their forces to me, and I wiped them out. Uh, which I find agreeable. Very agreeable. Let's see, what do we got here? 2, 2, 2... Where can I farm? That's really what it's going I can farm there, I can farm there, and it'll be beside there. Okay, so. Get me a worker for some chop. And I need that guy to heal more. Oh, is that me? No. Wealth consists not in having. Who was that? that? who declared war on me. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. How are we doing for time here? 45 minutes. Yeah, I... So far, so, far so good. Like, I'm going to war right away, so... 
you know, that makes it harder to, uh, you know, I'm not building great people right now. I'm not even focused on expansion, really. Um, so that's problematic because uh, of this early war. Um, I don't like that these guys are exerting so much influence on me. Faith away from buying my next settler. Here we go. Okay, I'm at war, so I am going to go oligarchy. And then I'll probably switch to classical republic later. Um, that. everywhere. Luckily, this scout can run. Okay. Los Angeles, you are going to be mine. You will be mine. Oh, yes. You will be mine. So, let's move up here. Do a little shuffle. And it's unfortunate that I can't keep Los Angeles. It's just, it's right smack in the middle. Uh, it's a, one of the worst places it could possibly be. So it's going to burn to the ground. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I, I might burn Boston to the ground as well, unfortunately, for, for the citizens of those nations. Uh, this is an important one for the Maya if they can if they can pull off the Colosseum. It's probably too late. Colosseum's generally a a high uh, priority for the computer. So very unlikely that I will get that. Oh, Mapuche, you son of a jerk! Yeah, this is this is I guess okay. Like I'm. It's early war. I just, I don't like that I don't have any iron um, anywhere in my empire. And, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, even if I built a city down here, I'm not getting that. So, that's unfortunate. But I, you know, maybe I can get horses, I guess. If I can, could go that route. There might be iron over here. Oh, I just noticed that. Two ley lines over there. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. I might actually be able to get those ley lines. Alright, well, that's future Zoe's problem. Current Zoe is at war. Like, I'm gonna have to go to war with the Mapuche pretty soon as well. Because he's right on my, you know, right up in my grill. And I am worried about the loyalty down there. Uh, hope that I can get another governor, actually. No, not in the immediate vicinity. Uh, I can change my government. That's it. How much am I losing by right now? Minus four. Like, and that's just going up at a ridiculous rate. I can move my governor there. So let's maybe do that. Let's get a settler. And then we'll move our governor there. Just temporarily. To get our back up to where it needs to be. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and get that. Oh, I didn't even consider that for my, 
for the library, if I maybe built it over here, and maybe over here, just if I can pull off um, getting uh, Mapuchi, or Mapuchi, <laughs> Machu Picchu, um, and there are a couple, I do have actually a couple mountains, actually maybe even up here, I, I doubt I'll be able to build it, um, but I'm going to try, okay, let's see. Out of curiosity. Two, two, two. Okay, yeah, there's no, there's an awful lot of rivers here. Um, so, it can be problematic. Anyways, the war. Back to the war. I'm almost tempted to get an encampment going. Okay, here we go. Like, there are way more ley lines this round than I had last, so that's good. But I have not been able to, because I'm just going to go to war. I'm at war, so I'm not focusing on building settlers as much as I should, um, which is not helpful. Move you up. Turn. I might even try to build some city walls just to get that Eureka. Do I want to take it this turn or next turn? Nah, let's take it this turn. Keep city, no. Coming for you next, Boston. I'm, yeah, and I'm gonna just eliminate the Americans right now. So I'm, I'm, I'm likely go. I'm not going diplomatic victory. That's for sure, because uh, I am going to eliminate the Americans, um, as with with extreme prejudice. Um, so, too bad, America. Oh, man, these yields are pretty good for these jungles. I don't know if I want to chop them down. Where, where did I see possible locations to build my commercial hub? So, if I go up here, or over here, I've got... There is cattle. So, that means the possibility of building my favorite wonder which is the Zimbabwe um oh man I, I specifically went up here though for the uh I was gonna build an encampment there but now I'm eyeing this and I didn't notice that cattle and it makes me want to chop down. Okay, so maybe I will postpone building the uh, encampment and um, go for the like, escort you just in case. And uh, I'll, I'll go for the commercial hub instead. Uh, like me, Zimbabwe, whenever I can get it. We continue our war with the Americans. And I'll soon have catapults, which I'm going to need, and I should probably get a battering ram going. Um, so I'm not going to press too hard uh, into the Yanks. 
just because I do need to uh, get my forces in place and have the equipment I need to deal with these city walls. Because there are two rounds of city walls. So, but let's uh, move up. Ooh, I see, I see some things I can pillage. I do like me some pillaging. Uh, what is your food like right now? Atrocious. So I do need to build the farms. Get the farms going. So we will get the farms going. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I'm 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 a little more confident. I it, it sucks that I I don't have I'm not getting the great people. And you know, like the Hermetic Order, you need great people. So I really and I haven't built like any mines or anything. So apprenticeship is eluding me. Um so which is, you know, that sucks. Um, I need to quickly build a library because I just realized the, uh, or maybe can I just buy a library? I got some gold. Damn it. You know what? I am going to buy it. I'm going to buy that. And yeah, I'll quickly build a library. Um, I don't know if I'm super desperate to get this gold anymore. So... I have no strategic resources. I got no gold. I got no iron. There's no horse. I'm very, very limited in what I can do here. Um, maybe I'll just accept that. I could go military tactics. What's that? That's two away. That's two away. Mathematics. Horseback. I really do want to start earning great engineer points as well. Okay. Let's do this. I'm going to go that route, and it sucks that, that my melee units are so limited. Um, it really sucks that my melee units are so limited. Anyways, let's go choppa choppa. Gives him to the chopper. How many turns do I have to not go into a dark age? Although, I've actually had games with the Maya where um, I made the dark age work really well. Oh, look at that, they got crossbowmen. What's going on? I guess that's not that crazy. <laughs> 16 science. See how much I suck. <laughs> Oh man, oh man. That's all right. Yeah, I can I can handle. I want him to come a little closer. Yeah, I'm not ready to advance, so I'm not going score. Okay. I'm actually going to go quickly explore over here. Maybe there's iron a little closer to home, which would be just wondrous. If I, if I had temples, there could be uh, some good temples here. Um... You're dead. You're dead. You're dead, Ted. You're dead. I am coming for you. Get some free experience here.
coming for you, Ted. I am coming for you. just gave me another library so my science is starting to roll now um, I'm gonna chop some stuff down let's just play it safe build some walls the Mapuche are on my border and uh, they don't seem too friendly Well, either way, that's an hour. Okay, so let's save the game. So, you know, I'm giving a terrible showing of... Uh, and by the way, at the Civ show, I'm used to playing other uh, opponents of near skill. So I don't generally play the computer that often. By now, uh, pretty much everywhere that I have a dot, I would have hoped to have a city. Um, instead, I am going early war, which is fine with the Maya. They are actually pretty good at early war. I just really wish for this early war that I had some iron. Um, but iron is scarce. Uh, there might be some over here. Um, but like the closest iron is up here now you know this actually would make a pretty decent city even with a minus 20 percent to to yield so uh we'll see that's like way down the road though so i am behind in almost every conceivable way uh, but you know i'm pretty good at at rebuilding and once the americans are out of the picture uh i'll pretty much have this entire area uh and and then i can move on to the mapuche so it's looking like domination might be the victory route that I take. So I'm okay to be a little behind in science. Um, though if the Civ Give has taught me anything, it's that apparently you can do everything. You can have amazing science and the military and all of that at once. I don't know. I'll figure it out. So this is part two, technically part one, but real. I'll, I'll continue that this is the Hermetic Order, the redemption of the Hermetic Order. I would say, given even given my terrible play style, um, I would say that the Hermetic Order are leaning, I think, towards... Re like, this was a very different game. Three, that's all I wanted. That's all I said last time. I wanted three, at least, in my territory. Um, you know, this is a plus six right now, um, and it'll only get better um, once I, you know, tear some stuff down, get some farms going. Um, when I get, uh, I think it's recorded history, I can start, I'll, I'll, I can, I think that'll double my campus yields and I think that'll double all of that stuff, uh, my adjacency bonuses rather. Um, so I think I can catch up with science, but like, yeah, look, like I'm at 20, others are at like 77. Um, and I'm the Maya, I'm the freaking Maya. So, um, let's see, we'll see with part two, um, what uh, what we can do and uh, but I'm I am slowly hoping that we can fix it figure this out I have two turns until the era ends um, and is this water okay so you know what I guess as I save it I'll save it again um, I guess if I really need to get that one era score I can buy a boat maybe i don't even know if i have gold to buy a boat uh not a big deal if i go into a dark age i won't even be able to buy a boat um 
So that kind of sucks. I'm about to go into a dark age. I hate that powerlessness that there's nothing you can do. I've got eight diplomatic favors, so it's very unlikely that anyone's going to give me sufficient gold to uh, <clears throat> get myself out of this. Um, not a big deal. And I don't think there's any other way for me to get one point. <clears throat> um, unless, like, there's, like, a good cut somewhere. I just missed it. So that sucks. I I'm probably going into a dark age when uh, part three commences. So well, it is what it is. So we will continue this. Um, as always, um, join us on the Civ Show. Uh, we air on Twitch every Sunday at 7 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, our podcasts are Thursdays at 1030 at Eastern Standard Time. And uh, be on the lookout in uh, 2021 for more Civ Show content. Uh, if you haven't checked us out, you can also look at us on YouTube, which is where this is. Um, Different Perspectives is on there. We have some Better Know a Leader done by Nystagmus. Moy does all sorts of random hijinks. Um, some great stuff there from the Civ Give that was just uh, on uh, the 20th of December. Uh, so you can check that out. And we got Twitter. Check us out on Twitter, Instagram. And Discord is really where the the best place to connect with our awesome community um if you're a casual civ player maybe decent civ player and you just love the game and you want to connect with people who love the game join us on the discord uh if you're a hardcore civ player and all you care about is winning and competition yeah, we're probably not for you, <laughs> just to be honest. Um, but, you know, you go to the CPL and stuff like that. Uh, very laid back community. And uh, we care. We want to win. But we don't, like, care to the point that, um, you know, we, we look for every, squeezing every single plus one out of everything. Um, either way, raising Zoso, saying let's have one more turn. And uh, I'll see you soon. <laughs>